What's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to set up your new tablet, your writing tablet. This is the X-Pen, so XP Pen Star G640 tutorial. I do want to mention that their website for their drivers is actually, um, it's, it's literally, it literally doesn't work. <laughs> like if we were to go here and type in xp-pen.com you will see that it's not going to load and this is most likely due to them not keeping their server uh, payments up to date for their website but I have a solution for you to guys to drive the, download the drivers and that is to just simply use webarchive.org um, I'll leave the description in the description I'll leave the link in the description um, before the website shut down I actually took a snapshot of the website so it allows you to download the drivers for your software so you get your Mac and you got your Windows and you got your Linux. So you got CentOS, Fedora, Red Hat, OpenSUSE, Ubuntu, Debian, and Manjaro Arch, Pop OS, Mint, basically all the Linux ones that there are. Um, the pen should work out of the box. You won't really need the drivers unless you want to um, have the software right here. So you see, you can actually uh, change commands for the pen. And if we were to go over here to write, you can see that you can change the pressure sensor. You can see the current pressure. So I push really hard, it goes up to 8191, so 8191. And what that looks like when you write is that line. And then the lightest pressure I can probably do is like that. That's like a thousand. You can also change the speed and you can change it um, with the top button. All this is customizable. You can change the eraser and whatnot. You see right there. I do recommend you guys use X Journal Plus Plus. I'll leave a link to the download in the description. Great note taking app. Oh, as you see right here, watch already. Let's um let's go ahead and write our channel name. So this would be Okay, don't mind my handwriting. <laughs> I'm actually writing this with my left hand because my right one is broken. Let's see. Oh my. But you guys get what I mean. Like, it works great. Um, I do notice sometimes that the pen, if you press the buttons a lot, they might glitch. But this might be a software thing. That wasn't bad for left hand. But yeah, this is external. It um, allows you to export in PDF. I do recommend you guys use this software. It is free and open source too, which is pretty sick. But going over here, you can see in work area, you can click it. I'm using the pen to do this tutorial too. Um, you can change your screen. You can go to the screen. You can select what monitor you want it to pick up. You can change the pen size of how much you, know, you can drag and click everywhere. So if I click like this, it'll only do in this area and then it will stop so you see my cursor this is me with the pen it only goes to that area but I just do full screen and then full area so it uses the whole screen you see right there so yeah guys um, I just want to share how to get the drivers and how to use it so link in the description for the drivers this is a snapshot of the official website where you download the drivers the only problem is the official website is down currently so I figured this will help somebody who just bought their pen that wants to download the official software and then I recommend external for drawing um, you can see right here that's pretty good the let's see so yeah you can do all kinds of things in this uh, journal app change your color and export as PDFs and whatnot but hopefully this helps somebody and thanks for watching